This is deadly and it's the easiest thing to make. Today we are grilling burgers. This is my favorite version of a smashed burger. It's got minimal ingredients. All you need is good quality beef and my secret ingredient, which is French's yellow mustard. So when you squeeze that mustard on the patty when it's smashed, it gives that caramelized crust that is to die for. So I have over here a lodge skillet that's been preheating with a little bit of grapeseed oil. We're gonna do our caramelized onions and mushrooms. And then for our mushrooms, I love this product. It's called Taiki Umami, and it's actually made of ground mushrooms. So the flavor that it elevates to any veg is amazing. I use it in so many dishes, just a pinch. So to our mushrooms, we're gonna add garlic and a little bit of the umami. So we're gonna get working on the special sauce. This is deadly and it's the easiest thing to make. So it's a base of mayonnaise, ketchup, relish, a little bit of finely diced white onion, sugar, and vinegar. And we're just gonna whisk it all up and that's gonna be the base of the bun. This is also really good on fries or if you want to kind of make like a fry medley to just dollop it on top. So we're gonna let those go a little bit longer. We want that color. So while we're waiting, we can just slice up our tomatoes. I like a good slice, we want a good bite of tomato. So our mushrooms are done. This is the color that you're looking for. Our onions are looking good. This is exactly what you want. You don't want them burnt, just nice and brown and soft. Let's talk about our beef. So because we're not using any herbs, spices, you want to get a really good quality beef. I like 70-30 so that you do have a little bit of fat. You don't want it too fatty because then that's all you're going to taste. So what I've done is I've kind of put them into balls and you want to get all of the air out. We're going to flatten them. Once we get it on the grill, season each side with salt and pepper liberally. Then we're gonna take a good squeeze of French's mustard. And once that starts to kind of caramelize and get a nice crust, we're gonna flip it over. You don't wanna overcook your burgers. You want it still juicy, you don't want it dry. So once it's almost done, we're gonna to top it with cheddar cheese and then we're gonna take them off the grill to build them. Burger time. Let's bring this over. Season liberally with s and P. And I like to toast the buns right on there so it picks up that flavor, the oils, kind of the leftover mushroom bits. I think it's delicious. You want it like a char. We're gonna close the lid until we get there. Right now, it's at about 250. I'd like to see it come up to maybe 350 and then we'll flip them over. All right, so I still have three of my buns toasting, but we can get started on building these. So I like to put a decent layer. You don't wanna over sog it. There's nothing worse than a soggy burger. Then we're gonna go patty onion, mush, and mushrooms and onions, they, I swear they shrink in half. It's not half, but it seems like it. So always make more than you think you need. Then we're gonna go tomato, lettuce, and I kind of just fold it like so. And then I put two like that. Put just a smidge on the top. And that's your burg. If you're prepping this ahead of time, 
I like to peel the lettuce and keep it in the fridge and wrap it in a damp paper towel or a damp cloth. And then it can be ready to go um, when you're ready to fire up the grill or when you're ready to sit down to eat. And when I serve this, I will often do it on a board like this, or we have these cute little fry papers. They look like this, which is super cute. And you can kind of wrap it up like it's a fast food burger. How cute is that? Smash burgers are the perfect summer recipe. It's minimal effort, it's quick, no fuss, it's less time in the kitchen prepping, more time to enjoy yourself. Smash burgers are my favorite and I'm pretty sure they will be yours too.